Welcome to the newsroom. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick two minute technical analysis on Apple. Apple, everything else is tumbling, but Apple's almost back to its all time highs. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna draw my first line of support at 306.78. It got through that area. If you look, I have these two red boxes I drew. It got through the one on the left, which was a major resistance test, and it got through the one on the right, another major resistance test. So now it's above that area. So now, it has a great floor. It has a little floor to walk along. What's next? Where can Apple go? It has that great level of support. If the market stays strong, even if it shows a little weakness, Apple's still gonna do its thing. I have a first price target test of 326. That was its previous highs in February before the Rona crash. And you can see Apple did that quick V recovery. Whoop, whoop. That's what the market was supposed to do, but something happened and it's, the market went whoop, whoop, and then flat line, died. All right, needs to wake back up and continue trending up. So obviously it's not going to go shoot straight to 326. It's gonna do a little squiggly action. I just a little squiggle, squiggle. It's gonna chop around. So don't be nervous if it doesn't hit it right away and it goes down. That's how stocks move. They're gonna go up and down. It broke through support. It's safe to buy Apple if the market stays strong. Or like I said, if they show a little bit, a little bit of weakness, it's okay. That's a quick two minute technical analysis for you on Apple. Don't forget to retire young. Yeah.